And you are now rocking with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wife, energy ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They loving how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they don't respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I have some cards that I showed y'all in my last video. And I'm not sure, hold on. I'm not sure which one I wanna go through, you know? This one is Empowering Questions. The Empowering Questions card deck includes 52 colorful cards that contains questions for you. And then we got the Icebreaker Deeper Talk. I really want to do this one. It has 150 in here, but I'm not going to go through all 150. Um, and I've never opened these before. So y'all going to get the exclusive. Like these are our answers off the top, you know, off the top of the mental. I think I'm going to go with icebreaker deeper talk because I feel like you guys should get to know me on a deeper level. I think it's best that y'all get to know me on a deeper level. Let me know if my hair is messed up, you know. Oh. Oh. All right, so red is, ooh. All right. It smells like textbooks. So red is beliefs. They should have wrote this somewhere. Red is beliefs. Blue is courage. Green is exposed. Yellow is life lessons and purple is self-awareness. You already know I'm gonna go with beliefs, you know. Why not? The first question is, what beliefs would you want to pass on to your children or grandchildren? So clearly for me, there's no beliefs that I will be passing down to my children at all. There's no beliefs I will be passing down. My children will be raised as free-spirited children. They will know that God is inside of them and they will know that they are on earth to experience life. They are a soul in a human body experiencing earth as a human, so a human experience, you know. Um, they are here on earth to better themselves and they are here to get enlightenment. You know, you learn on earth. That's what we're here to do. So there's no beliefs that I believe that I will be passing down to my children. What beliefs have you adopted from other people that don't serve you now? <laughs> oh gosh, a lot. Like almost everything that has to do with religion, it don't serve me no more. You know, I feel like I've evolved and religion has taught me what it had to taught me. And as of now, I've learned everything, but I seek my answers from within. I'm good, you know? So, the stuff that I learned from my parents and anybody else in the mosque, you know, we started going to Islamic school in 2012. All the stuff that I learned from there, it made me a better person. You know, it was good to know stuff, but it was a lot of questions that I had and nobody answered my questions. I had to seek the answers from within. Nobody wanted to answer my questions. And you know why they didn't want to answer my questions? Because they didn't have the answers. I did not know I would love these cards. I think I'm going to fly through these. Okay, what do you have absolute faith in? This is this is a crazy question because I have faith in everything, everything. When I tell you everything, like I can have, like if my mom be like, oh, I'm making some oxtails, I don't think these will be good. I would literally be like, I know it's gonna be good. You know, I just feel like I have faith in everything, every aspect in my life. I'm just a faithful person and I feel like I was raised to be like that. And even if I wasn't raised to be like that, it's just like unintentional and it's just from within. Like this is just who I am as a person. Do you think it's ever possible to be an overnight success? I truly do feel like nothing is impossible. Like I, I don't believe anybody that'd be like, oh, that's impossible. Anything is possible, feel me? Just put your mind to it, anything is possible. So I feel like there's people that's been an overnight success, you know, it's possible. Even if I don't know a person that has overnight success, I believe that nothing is impossible so describe a belief you'd still hold tight even if someone showed you evidence to the contrary honestly i wish i had these questions when i was like you know another me probably like a few years back me because 
If anybody show me any type of evidence and the proof is right there in my face, I'm going to question my beliefs. I'm going to be like, damn, who taught me this and why they taught me this? Why am I believing this? Where the facts are? You know, like, I'm a, I want to know where the facts are, you know? So, yeah, like, if anybody ever showed me the truth, like, I wish I had a me back in the day. I would have been, like, probably far further in life right now because I would have seen the proof and I would have been like, okay, okay, there's a person right here. They showed me the proof. Even though you can't take people's word, but from within, you would know if it's true or not. You know, like, a lot of people aren't into with themselves, so I get it, but I am, so I would know. So, yeah, there's no belief that I would hold on tight if I seen the evidence right in my face. You know, I would question my beliefs, but a lot of people don't question their beliefs because either fear is attached to it or they just choose not to, you know? What do you think is the meaning of life? I feel like the meaning of life is to be on earth, learn your lessons, definitely live in the moment, and you're here to feel. You know, you have these senses for a reason. You're here to experience things. You're here to like, if you wanna ride a bike, you're here to do that. You're here to feel the wind hit your face when you're riding a bike. You're not here to make money. You're not here to work. You're here to experience life, you know, experience heaven on earth. That's my definition of life. And you're not supposed to always try to find a way out, you know? A lot of people are stuck in survival mode. They never got to really live. And I got myself out of survival mode by force, you know? And you can't, if you ask me how did I get myself out of survival mode, I don't know, you know? Like maybe I will get that answer another year or so because I just got out of it. But yeah, like, I feel like the meaning of life is to live, to actually experience life. <laughs> what does humanity completely misunderstand? I feel like humans, they misunderstand everything. You know, they misunderstand following your purpose. They misunderstand their intuition. They misunderstand themselves, you know? Yeah, humans. Humans can be unhealed at times, but I get it because it's a cycle, you know, it's from your grandmother to your mother to now you and you're bringing on their cycles onto yourself. So I get it. But when are you going to break out of it? You know, so I feel like they misunderstand a lot of stuff due to their parents and generations. You know, that's why. What do you think is the most damaging modern industry and why? <sighs> um, I would hate to say this. But I would say the music industry because they're the ones that's like pushing the agenda and people like us, we're gonna listen to it. But if you're wise enough, you will watch what you're listening to. But a lot of people don't watch what they're listening to because it is what it is, like it's music. But little do you know, the type of vibration that's in that music is like lowering you down. And now you're eating whatever and you're doing whatever, you're saying whatever, you're not watching what you say. The music is still stuck in your head. So it's very important to know what you're listening to. And I feel like that's a topic that a lot of people talk about and a lot of people just be like, whatever, and they just still listen to whatever they wanna listen to. I took it into consideration and watched what I listened to because I had a year where my life was literally aligned with a song or an artist that I was listening to and it went to shit. Like my life went to shit and I peep who I was listening to and what they were saying and my life was literally falling onto that track, so. Since then, I've been watching what I've been listening to. I say my affirmations. I remind myself every day that I'm such and such and I'm the most luckiest person in the whole wide world and I'm just so protected and I'm so loved. And that's what I'm attracting. What's the last thing you change your mind about and why? I recently picked up more shifts at my job <laughs> and I make money literally doing two or three days but I picked up more shifts and I was like oh my god no like I'm good I'm being overworked oh my god what's going on I'm being overworked you know that's the only thing I would probably change my mind about but big decisions like life changing decisions I don't change my mind about because I have a lot of time to think about it and my intuition is never wrong so I don't really make wrong choices because I have time to think about it and I don't just make impulsive choices so that's the only thing like I don't like being overworked I love these questions and I just want to ask Somebody very important these questions, so bad. And I wanna debate them, but why, but why, but why? <laughs> Which groups do you have a negative bias towards? 
I don't have a negative bias towards groups or people, you know? Like I don't. All right, overly religious people. If if you're religious, whatever. But if you're like overly religious and you make this your whole personality and you question, or even spiritual people that's like questioning people of why they're eating, why are you eating meat? The meat has dead animal, dead energy in it. We know this. Don't you think we want to stop eating it too? You don't have to put us down. I know somebody like that too. And I be telling him like, you can't make this your personality. Nobody's gonna want to talk to you. Like. People are aware of stuff, but when there's nothing that they can do about it, yet obviously there's stuff that we can do about it, we can eat cleaner, but when that's your environment, it's mad hard to just stop, you know, cold turkey. Like, it's mad hard. So, I don't like overly religious people, that's another topic, and then spiritual people that want to constantly tell people how to live their life, you know? Like, I'm spiritual, I, feel, I believe that God is everywhere, I believe that God is in us, I believe that... Like this is heaven on earth and we are here to experience life and have lessons. It's just like a soul development. You know, I, I feel like we're here for enlightenment. We're here to learn. And there's certain types of spiritual people that will literally question every move that you make. And like, even though you're trying to better yourself, basically judgmental people. That's the group. That's the group that I have a negative bias towards, but it's not really a negative thing. Like it's just facts. Like, why are you acting like that? What's your definition of success? My definition of success is happiness. Like if you're happy and if you started a career or if you started a brand or if you started anything and you finished, um, I just want to show you guys my rubber band ball. I've been, look, I've been starting a rubber band ball. A girl at my job, she started it real small and I just continued and look how big it is. I'm trying to get it as big as I can. I'm trying to order some rubber bands and get it as big as I can. Once I get it big, I'm going to feel very successful. Why? Because I spent my time doing it and I achieved my goal. So success can be in anything. It could be very small or it could be very big. So yeah, my definition of success is like happiness. I'm going to be very happy that I finished that rubber band ball. I'm successful. You know, everybody has. But a lot of people don't feel like success is as little as that. They feel like they have to be some rich guy or financially stable person. Where in your life are you religious and why? I'm not religious in, in nothing in my life. You know, I just feel like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not religious. I'm not a religious person. I used to be, but I feel like I've evolved and I'm just going to keep evolving mentally, spiritually, in life, period. What's your North Star? What is a North Star? You see, not a lot of people know stuff. I don't know what a North Star is. What is a, oh my God, it was just 444. What is a North Star? Polaris is a star in the northern. We're gonna skip that question. I don't know what's a north star. And Google acting too smart for me. Where are your beliefs limiting your potential? Do y'all hear these questions? I feel like a lot of people should hear these questions, especially this one. This one says, where are your beliefs limiting your potential? If this was the old me, my beliefs will be limiting all my potential. Like it will literally be in the way of everything that I want to do in life because why because it's head on you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to do that who said that when my heart and God is telling me do it you know I, I say this all the time and when I used to say I used to feel like why am I saying this but I truly do feel like we're on earth to see if we will listen to ourselves or listen to all these people that's not God you know like, will you listen to your intuition telling you to do this? Or are you going to listen to everybody saying that you're not supposed to be doing that? When that's your passion and deep down, you know that it will feel real good to do it. Will you listen to yourself and find that happiness? Or will you listen to these these people, these, these souls that's just following something and not really listening to themselves or following themselves, you know? Why is there still poverty in the 21st century? Ask America. Ask America, you know? I don't do politics. What should we be doing to save the planet for our grandchildren? Talking to them, you know, speaking highly to them, letting them know that they got to watch what they say. Even Like, it could save the planet because forget throwing stuff in the ocean or throwing stuff on the floor. Like, if it's good people on the planet, the planet is saved. Feel me? What do you think society owes its citizen reparation? Will higher taxes or more philanthropy solve the world's problem 
I don't know. I don't care about taxes and all that. Is it possible for anyone to be completely self-made? A hundred percent. And I, I aspire to be a hundred percent self-made, you know, like people can have influence and, you know, help you out or whatever, but I aspire to be a hundred percent self-made. So I will be that answer. What widely accepted belief needs to be dead and buried? <laughs> <sighs> it's a very controversial topic that spirituality is evil and spirituality is voodoo that needs to be dead or buried that thought right there whoever said that whoever spoke that into y'all i just want y'all to know that was out here we was healing ourselves before all of this shit like whatever like that's another topic for another time but yeah that spirituality is negative and it's the devil's work that's that's what needs to be buried you know everybody believes that it's so crazy describe a time when it's right to pursue power money over people if you're gonna change the world then yeah but i don't know i feel like nobody should really choose power money over people unless it's like genuinely if it's genuine power and money you know not no evil shit like you choosing out over your people that shit gonna backfire is violence ever acceptable if somebody's violating you i feel like you could violate them back that's the only time violence is acceptable what does it mean to be human to live in the moment and experience life you know use your senses use your smell smell something good use your sight see something beautiful you know go sightseeing see the world fly you know what belief keeps getting you into trouble no beliefs because i'm done with beliefs i am disassociated from even virgo you know i was born september i'm not even a virgo me yang off is a free spirit you know she's a free spirit she's here she's getting her her human experience you know she's got her lessons she went through them and made her stronger and now she's just living in the moment and she's attracting all good things you know that's coming her way that's what she's doing not me talking about myself in the third person <laughs> the last one what affirmation do you need to wire into your programming hmm hmm that money comes to me easily. Even though money does come to me easily, I feel like it needs to be like embedded in my brain. Like, yeah, like money comes, like it's gonna come. I think I know that one. I don't know. Like, I don't really have anything that needs to be wired into my programming because I been got reprogrammed. Like I've been reprogrammed myself. Like it's crazy. Like I wish I came across these cards years ago because it would have really like helped me out into bettering myself. But it's a time and place for everything. If I would have came across these cards years ago, I would have never had the answers. But I got the answers today for y'all. So, that was fun. Let me know which, all right. Comment which one y'all want next. Courage, dreams, exposed, life lessons, and self-awareness. Smell like textbooks. Let me know what y'all want next. I love this. This was so much fun. I can't wait to have somebody up here so that I can ask them all these questions because this was amazing. Isn't it crazy how I'm attracting all these questions about beliefs and stuff and religion and stuff? Like, I'm really a vessel, you know? I'm really a vessel. I'm not here to bring people on to be like, oh yeah, let's let's become a group and like have a call and let's let people be like me. No, ain't none of that. Like, I'm just I'm just being myself and if you learn from me, you learn from me. It is what it is. But that was so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, don't forget to comment. Bye.